Yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you, Instagram, for not being super clear. <laughs> We're live. Oh, hi. <laughs> Good morning. Hi. Oh, there's Claude already. Ciao. Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. I've been talking to her so much. Um, um, okay, so first things first, we have to give... A shout out to our friend Jen for our two moms and wine moms that you guys voted on. Credit where credit is due. Cheers to you, Jen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And she got these to us like. Um, you guys, they, they got here five minutes before I left my house, so I was really excited. the wine excited. tastes better out of these. Cups. It actually does. Anything tastes better today. I need wine desperately. Hi, you guys. You know what's nice about these too? You can put wine in here when you're not supposed to. Oh, you could hide it. Yeah, like, I'm all, all my morning coffee. Yeah, just, oh, just touch it so hot. I'm just having a little, so a little English a little breakfast tea, tea with a little milk a little, and sugar. Yeah, oh, a little oh. honey. A little honey. <laughs> in my Why are we talking? Like that? Um, we need to sell them. She is selling them. You guys should go. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let this me give her proper Marakai, Maraki or Marakai glassware, and you guys can go buy them. And she's local. Yes, us, which is check really my cool. page because I I put her information up. Um, this is probably backwards for you guys, but what? two moms, two yeah. moms. Oh, should I show off my shirt and wine? Yeah. L is for wine. O is for wine. V is for wine. E is for wine. But don't look at her chest. <laughs> my name is Buff. <laughs> I am for wine. Oh yeah, don't look at my chest. Don't look at my chest, but read it. But don't. Sorry, I've got the piece I'm going leadership. today. This is like a P. I feel like I'm in PJs. You're not in PJs and you look beautiful. We could They'll technically, like, this show is always here up. We could be, we could be pantsless for all you know. Well, talk about pantsless. That was last week. <laughs> cheers to, cheers to old Buffalo. Can we recap? Mm-hmm. So last week was the best of times and it was the worst of times. Yeah. Uh, worst meaning, no offense to the gentleman out there, but we don't it's never nice it. to see one on camera. We don't want to see that. Um, for those nope. of you who didn't tune in last week, we had the bright idea to invite some... My bright idea. She was against it. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I was like, yeah, I don't know about this. Um, so anyway, we invited some of the viewers to come on live. Yeah. Because there's that feature. Yeah. And it started out great. It did. We met a gal from Istanbul who's like a huge fan. The sweetest. The sweetest fan from... We saw Claude. Claude from mm -hmm. Italy um, who couldn't have been cuter. More lovely. Yeah. So then... And then we saw the name Women from Buffalo. We even joked. Maybe it was her family members. Tis, Wasn't tis. my family members. <laughs> no family member of mine, I'll tell you that much. No. A member, though. And I feel bad because now these family people want to join our live, and we don't know who is who, so we can't click on it. We have we have a little PTSD from last week, so we're going to wait a couple weeks, and we're going to figure out together, all of us, how we can click on the good people, and we're going to go back, and we're going to talk to some more of you, but not today. Yeah, because yeah, I don't we, think we need today. to let that settle. We need to let that sort of... Um, I put it up on my Facebook page. Oh, my... Not, I, I, I censored it because I don't want to get kicked off, kicked off the interweb. I thought we were going to get kicked off Instagram, but I mean, is too. very nice to us. Oh, see, it's good. Yeah, okay, good. Yes. Good to know people on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's There's so many. Oh, somebody gave us a thumbs down because we're not going to touch people today. We're sorry, but we're scared. Well, after the glass scary. of wine, we might change our mind. Yeah. Maybe we will. Maybe in the last five seconds, we'll click on it. You know, if we recognize someone who comments all the time and is cool with us, and that was like with Claude and Jennifer Love Hewitt fans. We recognized them. So, or if then we took a if chance. Jen, who made the glasses, wants to pop on really quick. That send would us be a cool. thing and let us know so we can introduce you to See? the peeps. Smart. So we're on. Smart idea. Send us something so that we definitely know that it's you. And let's do that. I love these. These are really cute. Mm -hmm. So these were the two designs she had her um, her Instagrammers yeah. choose. They're cute, right? They're so cute. I love it. Um, so I was a little late. I barely made the live video. I know. I was I wrestling was with a stroller. Oh. It must be nice to be. I drove here and could barely turn my head back and forth because <laughs> I injured myself. What happened? Wow. Well. <laughs> you know your old win is what we're going to call it. Okay. Those. So I like to drink a lot of water before I go to bed at night. That's good of you. I, Hydration is, is key. Right? Good for the skin. So I woke up at 2 a.m. two days ago. Had to go pee-pee and um, decided while I was going pee-pee to do like a neck roll just to like, ooh, stretch it out. What's that? 
you know, like, like where you just, yeah, yeah oh, and that must be lovely to be able to do. Okay. So I was doing that, and I hear this click, click, and all of a sudden, like whiplash, my neck freezes. <gasps> and today I have, like, this much movement. Yesterday I couldn't move it at all. Wait, if you came in with a neck brace? Yeah. yeah. I might die. Mm-hmm. There is nothing more comical than a neck brace. Well, yeah, so I basically created whiplash for myself by taking a 2 a.m. pee. So you have a pee injury. I have a pee injury. You have a urinating injury. I have PTSD from seeing a pee, and I also have a pee injury. <laughs> I have a lot of pee going We on. should have a reoccurring segment called You Know You're Old When. Well, we just started it today. Uh, it started with how we can't see the comments. Oh, so yeah, yeah. So I got glasses. actually had to get glasses. Why are they always happening to me? We need something to happen to you. I'm fighting it. I just can't see. That's, that's what I do. Mm. I just... Uh, I'm still trying I, to see I can if our see girl's going to click Dewey. in. He says, hi, lovely girl. Hi. Um, Vivek oh, says, sorry to hear that. Quick recovery. Thank you so much. That's nice. Quick recovery. What can you do for that? I, I mean, I had no idea. It's um, just painful and sad. So you know when you're running late? Yeah. <laughs> I just used every curse word that I knew in my, <laughs> like, that that exists. Oh, San Jose in the building. Trying to get, my parents are visiting, and so they're going to take my son, seven months, for a walk. And so they said, just make sure the stroller's set up. I'm like, sure. It's always set up. We're good. I forgot that it was not set up. So I'm downstairs and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm late, I'm late. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, She just got a mommy workout. <laughs> it's like a little workout. I was sweating. These strollers oh, are like so... <laughs> Pardon me. They're so intuitive and awesome, but also I just feel like I'm always wrestling with either my child or with equipment of some sort. Yeah. We're going to spend our lives wrestling. Like, oh my gosh. I don't really I just, need to work out. I just got a sneak peek at our charcuterie plate and cheese plate that we ordered, and it's coming this way. I'm just going to say. I feel like I'm in my pajamas today. I just had to go cash. I'm in like a big sweatshirt. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you so much. This is the much. triple brie, and this is Ari B, and this is the cheddar H. <gasps> Thank you. That is and the, the meat. Oh, thank you. What are these? Those are gnocchi fritti. They're like gnocchi fried. fritti. Yeah. Okay. Yes, pleasey. Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you. You can put on the video that too. Okay, we'll put it on the video. <laughs> thank you. Grazie. Right. Oh. I don't oh know what it is. Oh my god! It's like a donut. Yeah, it's amazing. I don't know where it is. Ooh. Oh my god. Never heard of it. I should have said I can't have nuts. Gnocchi. You can have nuts? I can't have nuts. Are you allergic? Well, ish. Really? I didn't know this about you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about your kids? I have like an EpiPen situation at one point. Really? Mm-hmm. Are the kids um, allergic too? No, so that's far. Right. No. Because that's a huge Knocking thing. Knocking on it. Um, Although I realized when you did your baby piece the other day, Oh, yeah. I have not given my son nuts yet. Ooh, and he's two. I know. Yeah, I did a whole Q&A with a pediatrician about baby's first foods, and I learned so much. Did I mess up? Is he going to be okay? He'll be okay, right? Ooh, I don't know. No. <gasps> it's going to be fine. She knows I have anxiety and she's going to be her back. I push oh, your button. Claude says, try gnocchi fritte with cream cheese. I mean, yeah, mm. I'll try anything with cream cheese. Claude from Italy, she would know. Um, I'm just saying your interesting salami situation. It's like a little bit awkward today. It's not. It's gorgeous. It's just, Try like, this like pickle. It's thing. delish. Um, I'm just going to talk to you guys and eat things. Wait, do you want to... Uh, I like how you collected questions from people. Oh! And that was really smart. Yeah, yeah. Look at my paper. Look at my questions. Instagram questions. Somebody wanted to know what mascara we both use. I use Benefit. Yes, they're real. Which is my fave. Um, I'm obsessed with it. What do you use? I've always used the um, drugstore brand. Yeah, because you're a drugstore girl, right? I'm a drugstore diva. Um, L'Oreal in the gray with the little gold uh, lid. It's Hold on. Benji, Benji Shine wants me to say your name. Hi. Hi, Benji. Is that what it said? I'm so sorry. I have glasses and they're not working. Okay. Um, I just discovered it cosmetics though too, and I started using um, their mascara just to try something new. So good, so good. Try it. No, we've been, been delicious. We've been nibbling a little bit. This Thank is great. You. 
Thank this you. is my new favorite. He's so cute. He's so sweet. I love you. He's so sweet. Oh, wait, um, wait, wait. He's cute. Yeah. Whoa, you're buried. Oh, wow. No, I mean like in a... Oh. I don't a, understand the nice point of way. this. What is not? It's, it's just heaven. But what is it's it? It's like fried bread. Claude, what is it? It's fried bread. It's like a donut. Okay. Oh, why are you yelling? Oh, okra? 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 I was why yelling, yelling the other day. day. And Josh goes, Wow, you're starting to become your buddy over there. Oh, oh my God. And you said, And Benny was laughing you. so hard. Mm -hmm. I have Autumn and Atticus both now saying, Oh, okra? Okra? Yeah. Benny thought mm -hmm. it was hysterical. Oh, oh, my little guy. Your wine. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm still um, waiting for a lady to... Wait, I want oh, to ask some more questions. Oh. And you can send us questions, too. Um... Anything you want to know, ask away. Shauna Lee Shipman. Shauna, mm -hmm. okay. Wanted to wanted us to talk about aging gracefully. Wow. Oh. Let me just say, I am not the poster child for that. Are you kidding? Okay. <clears throat> you look great. That was it's just really. It's because you're PMSing. Oh God, she brought it up. I have cramps, you guys. I, I could say anything. Oh, Max is hungry. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Um, aging gracefully in Hollywood. Whew. Yeah. So how are you aging gracefully? Because you look 12, and it's Me? annoying on a daily basis. Mm. But it's, she's pretty. You know what it is? Pretty. It's good jeans. Oh. And you'll find out, because my mom Levi? is coming here later. I'm kidding. Good jeans. Um, That's right, I get to meet your mom. My oh my mom gosh, I have to change my personality. Before she <laughs> no, you don't. I have to be She normal. watches this program. Oh, that's sad. She's well aware of, I'm sorry. Uh, of who we are. Um, so she's like 60, I don't know, a lot. Uh huh. And she looks 40. So, really? I just got lucky. Yeah. Tips and tricks, though? You have like a good skincare line you like. Oh, so, okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to. I mean, I have, have the regimen. You know, I do the skin. I'm about to drop a name. But, um, Jesse James Decker. Hold on, let me get that name off the oh. floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we just picked it up. Um, she told me, she, she told yeah. all of her Instagram followers about this Ren face oil. Yeah. And I have never been a face oil person. I am now using all of their products. My skin has never been better. I mean, it has its moments, let's be honest, but um, I absolutely love it. And I've been using it. I also have been using Proactive since I was in my 20s. So you just like mix those together now? Um, what's interesting is we're both getting a little older, right? Yes. So we're at the point than now. You. Where we get wrinkles and acne. And that is messed up. Yeah, why does that come back? Like, I thought like when I was a teenager it was done. Like Mother Nature. It's, come on. One or the other. We shouldn't She's a be real mother, having, that Mother Nature. She's I'll tell you what. work. Yeah. Um, so nice it's a sunny day. We've had crazy rain here. But I love the rain. I know. It's been cozy and nice, but like enough is enough. I'm really just eating. I'm just eating while yeah. I'm talking to people. That's is fine. that rude? I'm so sorry. How I was rude. just hungry. Hey, when do we get to tell them about our... Oh, soon. Not yet, soon. 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 We've got surprises for Oh, you. but hey, I wanted to tell you guys about something. So, I'm going to have to read it because I don't know all of their stats, but I printed it out. Okay. So, forgive me one one moment. Okay. Um, so, I, like I asked... Brought, like, material. You know what? Well, I was asking some questions to our peeps yesterday. Yeah. And this, this woman sent me this thing and said, oh, you should look up One Hope Wine. Oh, I yes, had no idea charity. what this was. Yeah, I okay. had no idea what it was. So I went on the website and I looked it up. And so let me tell you about these people. First of all, they were so nice that they got in contact with me yesterday, and they are um, they're going to send us some some wine to drink on the show, some goodies. So we I'm like really that. excited about it. So we'll show you guys everything and tell you everything when it gets okay. here. But in the meantime, One Hope was founded by eight friends with the lofty vision to create exceptional products that inspire people to indulge while doing good, Ooh. which I love. So here's some of the things that they've done. To date, they have made more than $3 million in donations, provided 46,000 people with global health care, 49,000 forever homes for shelter animals, 1.8 million meals for children, and 163,000 life-saving vaccines. Wow. And more. Sign me up. Isn't that crazy? So we just wanted to say, you know so what? So they created a wine and all the, like, the proceeds will go. Yeah, they have, well, they, they do coffee. They do, um, like, crates uh, for special occasions and stuff like that. Anyway, you guys have to check out One Hope Wine. 
It's really cool. They so have an drinking, awesome website. Follow them on Instagram. Drinking they did not ask fun. us to do this. I just heard about it, read it, really loved it. And so we just we'll want to say one help. cheers, One Help. Thank you. I we like can't that. wait to have some of your stuff. Mm -hmm. Guys, go check them out. They're awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, anytime I can drink and like save a shelter animal at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking good, right? about, right? Do a little good and be happy while you're doing it's it. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's all good. I'm trying to think. Oh, somebody wanted to know our fashion tips. Wow, well, let me just tell you that. It's pretty much jeans, 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 t-shirt, sweatshirt, jeans, jacket, t-shirt, scarf, leggings, leggings. My mom wardrobe exactly. consists mm -hmm. of... Mom drobe? Your mom drobe? My mom drobe. Mm -hmm. Very good. My mom drobe is black leggings, high tops, my black ones, if I'm really feeling dressy. Mm -hmm. um, jean jacket, mm -hmm. tank top underneath. Live in that. Like... Is that not what I wear every day when you see me? It is. <laughs> it is. And then I. But you look really jeans. cute in it. Well, jean jacket is a staple. Thank you. I mean, yeah. Um, now that we're moving into spring, I'm into the dresses. But my style tip, if I have one, you can still wear a jean jacket with a dress, and it's super. Cute. Oh yeah, I love that. Um, I'm eating more of the strong. I'm thing. about fit. I don't follow trends. I don't follow fads. I don't follow I don't fashion either, really. necessarily. I wear what looks good on my body. Mm -hmm. I have a very particular, you know, I'm You have a perfect body. But thank but you, you're perfect. again. But I'm like this tall. That's true. I'm like She's a, a mini person. person. Mm -hmm. so, so I carry her here things. in my pocket most yeah. of the time. I just put her right in my little pocket and say, come on, we're going to go have one. Exactly. No. Like there's certain things that just are not going to work on me ever. Certain crocs, certain... Um, so you just go with what works for you and invest in a really good tailor. Cause it's all about fit. I'll spend twenty dollars on a dress and sixty dollars on alterations. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And make it look. I can't. Pop I can't. I don't have any pants that really don't need to be altered. How tall are you? I am five three ish. So you're tall to me. I am tall to you. Yeah, but not in the real world. So I in the real world, you're kind of short. Mm -hmm. I'm little. So hang around me. You're like, oh, feel real tall. I do. Wait, I'm just going to check in really, I'm going to bring this real close and it's going to get scary for a second. But I just want to see if our girl is trying to oh, good idea. get a hold of us because I would love for her to be able to say hi for all of the glasses. These are our... I'm adding my girl who made the glasses. I'm going to see if she's oh, ready yeah, to add. Her. Okay. Oh, you can just request her? See. Yeah, yeah. Just, just like gonna she can see. request you? Mm-hmm. Did you? What was that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I had that I said was weird. Like don't or something? I don't know what it's it is. It's a little too fatty. Oh, that's what I thought. Yeah. I, like, tasted it. Too a... smoky and uh -huh. fatty. Yeah. Okay, well, she's not going to be there, I think. Um, there's a creepy dude behind you. Where? <laughs> I feel like the ghost was burned. <laughs> Who's the creepy dude behind us? What are you talking about? Don't scare people like that. Do you remember um, that movie... Was it three men and a little baby? Yeah. Do you remember when they said, I don't know if you know it. And then they had three men and a little lady? Yeah. There was uh -huh. supposedly a ghost in one of the scenes. There was probably someone just like walking past the background. So this is creepy. We used to have actual ghosts show up in the footage. Of Ghost Whisperer? Of Ghost Whisperer. Like, all of a sudden you'd look and see in the back of the scene and there would just be like a hooded dude. Like standing at the top of the was stairs. it the man from Buffalo? <laughs> <laughs> no, well I would have known him. Um, no, well I was like crossing someone over in the show, and you would just see like this person with like no face, no arms, no legs, no anything, just kind of like floating behind us for reals. Whoa. It was super creepy. Wow. Well, well that person's rewatching Ghost Explorer. Well, look for the little people in the back. Ghost. Mm -hmm. um, dipping the fried who's he, what's it and honey. Yeah. Is a real PMS. Is a real PMS. Yes. It's a PMS. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're all. We've been spending so much time together. I know. We're on the same cycle. Mm -hmm. Too much information. Yeah. That's what you'll get on two months of mine. Yeah. <laughs> she looks How do you know? Like her. I look like me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, her cute Hi. mom just walked in. She's adorable. In a jean jacket. Hi. Hi. And a like her jean jacket. Hi. Hi. How are you? Do you want to come on our program? <laughs> She's nervous to meet you guys. Should we just pan it over really quick so you can just wave hi? Say hi. hi. 
Oh my gosh. Let me just report to you. We're, we're just having a notch. Let me report to you on what I'm seeing. We just got all, one night. Maria's mom is beautiful. She's also we were talking about a tiny person, just like her daughter. She is wearing a jean jacket like her daughter just said that she loves to wear. And she's the cutest, and I'm really excited to meet her. They were asking our beauty tips. Yeah. When I said I just have good jeans, I don't have sunscreen. Somebody just said I named my bong Jennifer Love Huge Rips. <laughs> Much. Of all your accomplishments. Oh my God, Max is saying that you're a total babe. You've never said that to me, Max. And we've known each Thanks, other for Max. years. How rude. Of course, when I'm wearing my PJs, I'm all, mm -hmm. it's not really. They're not real, your PJs, are they? I'm just still like a What do you sleep in? Um, my mm. friends always make fun of me because I have like proper nightgowns. Do you? Yeah. And ropes. Tons. Oh my of God, that's cute. So I sleep in old fashioned pajamas. Oh, with the button? Yeah. I have those too. Yeah. Well, I don't really sleep. I take them off before I go to sleep, but I wear them. Oh, oh, you know, guys, look, I'm just off. I used to, but oh, then, I, cool. then I had a bunch of kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Better put the nightgown on. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I make sure that I'm clothed in case a child is around. No, I mean, in case you don't want any more of those pop up. <gasps> oh, oh, a protect. <laughs> she wears a protective nightie. Got it. You would think that my pajamas would stop me from having children. But... <laughs> a protective nightie. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Oh, dear. Well, guys, anybody um, want to talk to us? I feel bad that your mom's just sitting. <laughs> oh, oh. You, oh, she doesn't drink wine. That's probably why she looks so. <gasps> what? Good. I mean, she'll drink a little, but she's a teetotaler. Always has been. Really? Always washed her face before bed too. Oh yeah, that's my rule. My, I don't my best friend Jenny get, used to get mad at me as a teenager because I would wake her up if she was sleeping and be like, get up, you have to wash your face. I mean, I it's was very good at that right? until about college. <laughs> and then, you know, just... What happens? Fun. We can go to college. Where? We can have, co we can relive college now. Does my mom want to go like spring Ursula break? Do you want to go on spring break? Of course I want to go on spring break. What is spring break? I'm excited um, about it. Let's do it. Amazing. Um, do um, I look like Ursula the Sea Witch with like a giant red mouth attacking people? No, you look good. I think that was a good thing today to just perk me up. Sweatshirt, red lips. I can't even describe to you the amount of pain that I'm in right now with my neck. No, there were no more questions. That was pretty much it. I mean, I'm sure other people had questions, but um, sort of it. send us your questions. Oh, moisturizer, any favorites? Um, moisturizer. Right I now, use proactive. Since you're still doing proactive, I use um. Actually, I just got a new thing from the drugstore um, with retinol in Somebody's it. Somebody's predicting that I'm going to be in a Marvel movie soon. Dude, that would be that so would be cool. Badass. I want to be in a Marvel movie. I want to play like the nerd who then turns into like the seductress person that flies and spits webs at people. Sounds Whoa, like I just totally true. ruined my chances to be <laughs> Stanley called. It's a pass. <laughs> a hard pass. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Stanley is the most adorable person in the world. Um, Why are you eating any of well, our because I'm talking. Someone asked about moisturizer, and I want to just, I want to oh, get yeah, this yeah, off yeah. my chest. Or, okay, go ahead. Jesus. Um, <laughs> my friends back east, um, one of them was before, Buffalo? like, oh, it's a cult. She's, she's a woman from Buffalo. Mm. Um, no, she worked for all Travis the is there. Hi, Hi, Travis. Hi, Travis. Hi. Anyway, she said a best kept secret. Yeah. Is retin-A. That is retin true. And that she's been using it for 10 years. Her skin looks like a baby's butt. I was it's like, true. what are you doing? Are you getting Botox? Like, what's happening? She so said that all the beauty it? editors used retin-A. But you have to actually you get it from your doctor. And you have to be so mm -hmm. careful. And we live in Los Angeles. And it, you, you can't be in the sun and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think a hybrid of that is retinol. Oh, she can't join us because she had to run the kids. Oh, she's back now. Okay. Anyway, Hold on, retinol. we're going to try it. Retinol, do it. I'm Are you trying. gonna do it? No, I'm trying retinol. It's just from it's just from like the, the drugstore. Okay, well tell me if it works, and if it does, I want to try it too. Don't well, leave me out. Really know. Don't leave me out. Because you're like, gonna look even better than you do now. But we're aging every day. She's so back from running say. our kids. We just wanted to say hi to you in person. Let's see. This is so exciting. So that we're talking to the gal who made these cups for us. <gasps> it's connecting. It's connecting. Okay, Are I feel scared. scared? <gasps> There's she. Hi. 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 Oh. Hi. 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 Hi
dog. <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much. Everybody go and, and ask her to make some glasses. Get some glasses. You did a great I job. And I like how you had the, the viewers participate. Yeah, we love yeah. your basket so much and we just thank you. <laughs> thank you. I love seeing thank it. It's so fun. So it's funny so situation. Well. Thank you guys for knows my husband yeah. really well. Oh, really? Like, yeah, here. Yeah. I mean, I'm here because her dog is being a My dog. Here. Okay, sorry. <laughs> like, my dog. We love He's like, it's puppy you. day. Oh, wait, it's, happy, hi, it's National Puppy Day. Where are you? Happy it's National puppy, puppy Day. I can't even find him. How do y'all so do that? Cute. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> like a cute. Spaniel. Thank you so much. Cute. Thank you. But yes, Happy tell Brian we said hi to Happy Friday. Thank you so much. Happy Friday. You're the best. I have coffee still. She's having coffee. Oh, for now. Oh my gosh, that was fun. That was fun. That was Wait, cute. Why is everyone here? I don't know. Did they shut the place down? They might have. They might have shut the place down because we're embarrassing everyone. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, please notice me. Oh, hi. Hi. And Tatiana. Hello, Tatiana from Portugal. I notice you. Maria, can I borrow your shirt? Oh, you like it? She needs Thank to you. wear it. There's probably oh, somebody wanting you, you to get wanna, naked. Um, you tell me who makes this. Sure. They sent me this. It was so cute. Oh, bird and vine. Bird and vine. Love it. They have really cute stuff. My shirt was made by Wild Fox. Do you have a, like, they do a lot of those sweatshirts that have funny stuff on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It's best. Um, For somebody who made fun of this fried thing, I've had, like, four bites of it. Oh, that wow. That should be mandatory. Way to call me off. <laughs> that should be mandatory. No, I am not breastfeeding anymore. All done. Oh. Can we take a moment? I had a, uh-oh, something really slapped me in the face this weekend. Oh, no. You. We, we were did. talking. What did I do? About breastfeeding. Oh, and yes. this one lays it on me. Oh, well, yeah. That she breastfed for three and a half years straight. Three and a half years. Because my kids were 18 months apart. And so trying to get my, I went back to work and trying to get my daughter to stop breastfeeding was really tough during that. By the way, no judgment on anyone who does breastfeed, doesn't breastfeed, whatever. It's just my personal experience. It was really a long period of time. I give you so much credit. And yeah, and I actually was pregnant with my son and still like weaning my daughter. It was really tough. Does your crazy. body still create milk when well, you're pregnant? Yes, wow. which I did not know. So it's so crazy. And then I had this really random experience where about five months after I stopped breastfeeding my son, yeah. I got mastitis again. Five months after? Mm -hmm. I still had so much milk left because you don't uh, realize that it takes sometimes up to a year. Did for you milk make a lot of milk? Go was it easy oh, for I you? was like, it was hard for me. Bessie the cow. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it was, but isn't that so interesting? That, like everybody I, has their own experience. I it's so it, different. But I'm on the complete other end of the spectrum. Yeah. And I tried, and with my daughter, I tried so hard because it was my first. And so I, I went to back, I went back to work when she was like eight weeks old oh, and I was so working hard. on a live morning show. And so I'm on the show for three hours and I'm going in a green room trying to pump. I'm stressed out. I have not Well, stressed anything. by the way, it doesn't help I mean, my alarm went off at 3.30 a.m. and that was terrible. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, so I'm trying to pump and like this much is coming out after an hour. So after about four months, I, I was like, forget it. So I'm with my son, totally different story, not working. I thought, this is going to be great. We're going to have this great thing, and I can just relax and feed myself and do the whole thing. I made it like two months with him. <laughs> I just, it was such a struggle for me, and he was such a big kid. He was nine pounds when he was born. I just felt like I couldn't make the milk. He wasn't happy about it. Well, and I just wanted my life back. I don't know if that's so selfish. No, it's and I'm not. not I like, don't apologize for it because I don't think you should. No, and you gotta do what's right. First of all, everybody's bodies is so different. Everybody's yeah. experience is different. There's a girl in here who says she's trying to wean her son this weekend. Just be patient with yourself. I was really nervous because I'd done it for so long at what it was gonna be like with my son because weaning my daughter was really hard. And oddly enough, like weaning my son was easier. And I would think it'd be the other way. I know, but it was okay. The only thing that's really weird is that since weaning him, I can't put him down to sleep at night because he still to this day like thinks that I'm going to like whip it out milk. Yeah. Yeah. You're like and so my husband has to put him down, which is kind of nice for me because then I have to tell my daughter and my husband can yeah. tell my son and so it's nice. nice. But um 
but it's it's hard and you know what everybody's different and everybody's experience is different and um That's the thing it's such a crazy like the human body is so crazy it's amazing that, that crazy. happen that it works and when it does work yeah um i also had a really weird thing where i had a lot of postpartum anxiety oh me too which is like i a thing. still have postpartum anxiety I, kids, having kids has brought me so much more anxiety than I ever had. Yeah, before. and mine was associated with the milk letting down. Mm. When the milk let down, something happened in my body, like physiologically, Whoa. that made me feel like I, like I had a pit in my stomach. Like Aww. it felt like you just got called to the principal's office, or like, or like your dog, like the worst thing that could possibly happen. I just touched your boot by accident. Oh, sorry. It was nice, everybody. Sorry about it. I didn't mean to. It was like They're a weird there. hug in like a small That's space, it. and I just like raised the... Wait. Sorry. See, you've been blessed with big ones. Sorry. But for people like me, who just had like so-so ones after breastfeeding, where'd they go? Yeah, mine didn't go away. Like, mine So didn't. I don't know. Maybe yours came over to my house. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come back? That's why mine is still the same size. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't Look know. at my mom. What do you think of this? You know, her mom is looking at us like she's very concerned. Yeah. Really? Yeah. She needs to come on. Oh, she does. Do you guys want to meet Marie's mom? Hold Ladies on. and gentlemen, come on over. Pull the chair. She didn't breastfeed me. She didn't? Nope. That's probably why I'm crazy. Yeah, hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. Isn't she beautiful? Aww. Thank hi. you. So are you. Nice Thank to you. meet nice you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, we just we met, met and it was so easy. I feel like I know nice you because you. I watched nice the show. Nice I so adore nice. your daughter. Aw, cheers. Don't cheers. cheers. I'm drinking oh, hold decaf. Yeah. I love decaf. Decaf, what do you call me? I call her Juan Valdez. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, Here, well, that's, that's okay. okay you have to scoot around. around. This that's way. okay. Um, it's three moms. Bear will be jealous. <gasps> it's three, three moms, moms. Wine and decaf. Wine and decaf. And grandma. Grandma's not in. Oh, yeah. I know. That's sweet. There, yeah. well, there we go. There There's we three go. Of us. Okay. Okay. Two moms and a grandma. Yeah. Two moms and a grandma. Oh, oh dear. It's okay. Sorry about that. Hi, Maria's mom from Travis. Oh, Hi, Travis. Okay, so earlier the girls were asking about our beauty tips, and I said, Yeah, what is your it's beauty just tip? Good jeans. Well, also sunscreen, <gasps> which I didn't yes. use as a child. Really? They didn't have it around when I was younger. <laughs> I think they did, but grandma and grandpa didn't. Mm, no, I don't really think they had sunscreen. But I had skin cancer twice. Did you? Oh, yes. So, so then, once on my lip and once on my nose. So, sunscreen. She Forget washes it. her face every night. She exercises like a fiend. Yes. Um, that all helps. And you eat. And you what you put in your body? It's going to show up on your skin. Oh, well, what about charcuterie? <laughs> Sorry about nice. today. For I know. We're just going to turn back yes. here and not talk about the cheese. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Go run some more. I ran so seven like miles. You <laughs> ran seven miles? Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you. You know what? I uh, I ran up um, my credit card bill on Amazon. <laughs> I ran up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, so. Hello, Germany. Hi, Germany. What time is it? How long have we been on here? A long time, but I'm just having so much fun. Yeah. Oh, we're about a half hour or more in. Oh. Um, we didn't see any penises today. So we did good. not. Did you see what happened last week? What? You know what happened? Some man showed us his, his pee pee. Why? 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 That's how we felt. You don't know that? Uh uh. No. Yeah. Well, it was not it was nice. Like a, oh, a wish I, we do wish you luck on meeting your baby. Baba <laughs> kind of. A little bit. We got Baba pee pee. We got Baba something. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, it was fine. fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sauvignon, Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. And a local artist made these for us and sent them to us. And we just saw her live. So the live feature does work well. Nice. And we just talked to her live and we saw her dog. Wait, everything. so you guys have to know that the woman who made these glasses for us, she was my husband's, like, neighbor. Really? Growing up, essentially. They grew uh, up together. Isn't that so I wild? That. That's so funny. And I came home and I was like, oh my gosh, the nicest woman wants us to make glasses. And he goes, oh, okay. And we were looking and he goes, I know her. I know it was that. really a small world. 
Your yeah. husband is a hoot and a holler. He is a hoot and a holler. He loves you. I love him. Our husbands, by the way, are the cutest together. Yeah, we have a good. It's a good they're like, they're equally as cute at, together as we are yes. together. So you know when you meet like a good mom. Is that friend? weird that I just said we were cute together? Whatever. You know when you meet a good mom friend or just a friend in general, yep. and then you're like, oh, what if their husbands suck? It's right. True. It's true. We have a good. It's like a good setup. Like we could travel together. We'd be good. Thanks. Um, let's talk about the fact that I, in the last couple of days, have become obsessed with um, Danny Pellegrino. Oh, good. Is he on? I don't see him on. I there. told him if, if he's he was on, be on him to show himself. Um, I had not no idea how pop culture savvy he was. Um, I love him. Look at her playing with her hair. And I'm playing with my hair he wants because us to come they on his feel podcast. like we could have like a little pop culture love story. And um, yeah. I'm so glad I just said. Did him. you see his Mega? Did you hear his Megan McCain thing? No, I didn't. Oh I know he had her on the podcast. So oh, he has okay. invited us both to be on the podcast. Yeah. He's a huge. Oh, Danny love loves you. Fan. He does, Danny. He's a huge. If love you're fan. watching, let us know that you're on right now. We'll click you on, buddy. We'll click you on. We will so click you on. Maybe I should uh, tell him. We're so hip. We're so hip. We know how to use the Instagram. Now. I met him um, over at E once. We were doing something. And he was so funny. He's been on my page a bunch, and I didn't know what the situation was. And then um, you told he, me. He makes the greatest. I think he's kind of known for his memes. He's really he funny. makes crazy Real Housewives memes. But no one loves the Housewives as much as. Mm. Love them. Oh, biggest fan. Love them. Okay. Who's, your, who's your favorite? Oh, which show? <laughs> I watch. Who's your all-time favorite? New Jersey. Mm. Because it's like our you like crazy Teresa cousins. G -G yeah. Crazy Italian cousins. Love yeah. Teresa. Yeah. yeah. She's very honest. I love her too. I like, um, love a lot of Italians. Um, yeah. Brutally honest. I still love Bethany. She's kind of my ride or die. Bethany. Even though she's crazy she's... and so intense. How about all the amazing you know, like, stuff she did after the show now? Oh, yeah. the hurricane. Pretty good. She's using her fame for good for sure. I know. I love it. Um. Beverly Hills. That Ramona. I went to Ramona's house a couple times. Did you? Yeah, because when I was in New York, I used to interview the housewives a lot. And she did some stuff in her apartment. She's exactly like she was on the show. Okay, so here's what we need to do. Like, I need to get you to watch you Bachelor, and you need to get me to watch Housewives. You don't watch Housewives? I do not watch the Housewives. Oh I've my only gosh. seen one episode. Yes. All right, so full disclosure, I really only watch Jersey and New York. Okay. And sometimes OC, the OG. Um, Wait, which one is Mimi on? Atlanta. Atlanta. But okay. I don't know that's the one I've seen. On. She plays, she's funny. She's funny. She like comes in. Out. She's, she's hysterical. So funny. I've met her in real life, and she's really. Do you funny. watch The Bachelor? Just at the very end, the last five minutes. What is wrong with this family, people? The last five minutes. What is wrong? But her favorite show is because my six hundred could... pound life. Oh. Have you ever seen that program? No, I you know not. why? Because I'm. In, I love to see people get healthy. But I think of one of the that man just passed away. Yes, sometimes that happens. He did. Oh, from the show. Yeah. Yeah. But well, he, I mean, but most of the time they're success stories. Yeah. Um, and I love to see them turn their lives around. I'll tell you. Well, I'm not cutting her mom out, by the way. That's it's just really hard to put us all in there. No, Sorry. Um, I'll tell you what a fun conversation is with a four-year-old. So we don't watch a lot of TV at all in our house, very sparingly. And when I Grandma's can't say here, the same. I cannot say the same. When Grandma's Sorry. here, she has on all this junk TV stuff like Housewives, oh, Family Feud. Oh, I love Family Feud. Family Feud. I watch Feud. Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune Sister. every night. I love Jeopardy. It's the, the, best. Best. For Jeopardy. the best. I don't know how to answer any of the questions, but I love to watch. Um, but so my daughter sees the six hundred pound life on. She goes, "Mommy, that person is very." Uh, she didn't even have the word for it because we would never say like, "Oh, yeah, that BT or yeah." So she goes, she's been, what, what is going on? And so then we were on our way to bed. So I had to have this whole discussion and I said, well, she hasn't taken care of her body. Yeah. And, um, that's a pretty had, good conversation to have. I mean, did eat her vegetables. Yeah, exactly. She didn't eat growing food. Mm -hmm. she, she had too many sweets and cookies. She's like, did she have five cookies? I said, yeah, like for breakfast and lunch and for dinner. 
I mean, she's getting healthy. Yeah, so she, she's, she's, she's getting like healthy. With, that's, but oh, it's I like, see why that do these now. big conversations strike you when you have no energy and it's the end of your day and these kids come at you with like a doozy? Let me tell you what my daughter said to me this morning. I said, baby girl, what can mommy do anything special for you today? And with a completely straight face, she said, you should wash your hair. <laughs> To which I said, you are right, and I am on my way. I got one That's for you. That's what she said to me. You should wash your hair. I'm just like, have you been so talking to your father? Me. I got one for you. Yesterday, rainy day, we're going, you know, gonna, I took her to lunch, so it's just threw on any old thing. Did I get it out of the hamper? Yeah, I did. Yeah, okay. Probably. I did. Off the floor. Off the floor. Right. Off the hamper. Whatever. The hamper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, Mom's so I, just laying out the truth. Oh, yeah. So I put it on, we go to lunch. And she goes, Ah, huh, you wear that sweatshirt a lot. Oh, <laughs> I think she said every day. Every day. You wear that sweatshirt every, every day. day. You must really like it. I'm like, Call me out. They're honest. The girls, kids are really, really and the honest. The girls are so astute. Yeah. Yeah, my daughter doesn't like my hair up. I like to wear my hair up every now and then. And every time I do, she's like, Can you take your hair down? Like, why? It's just like, I just don't like it like that. So I think it's because it doesn't look like a princess. But how about when you wow them? Like the other oh, yeah. day, I wore that long dress yeah, yeah, yeah. for that event. Yeah. And it was just a cotton, like, springy yeah. summer thing, whatever. And Grace goes, oh, you're in a gown. Oh, it's a fez. In a gown. Mom score. Anything long. Wait, I was just seeing Scores if really well with the Danny Pellegrino girl. was watching and wanted to say hi to us. Oh, yeah. Danny, are you there? Danny, we're a fan. He's gonna be so disappointed. Are you not there? Alright, guys. Well, I'm always the bearer of bad news. I know. I feel like just when I get going, she makes you. I know. Whatever, guys. We'll continue this schedule later without her. You know what I mean? No, just kidding. Um. All right, guys. Was Zen. How fun. Oh, Karen, thank you. She says you're incredible moms. That's really nice. The Cutaholics was on there just now. Hi. Some days are better than others in the mom world. That's true. I just want to say you guys have really made my PMS feel better. Good. My, it might be the wine. My neck seems to be moving a little bit better. That's most definitely the wine. Yeah. Um, Wait till we have another glass. And, yeah. It'll be turning around. <laughs> yeah. It's true, right? Thanks to our first guest. Oh, my gosh. Thank you to our first guest. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Use your sunscreen. Listen to her. Yes. Thank you for having me. Use sunscreen. Remember that song? Oh. Oh, boy. That's a good one. And we're back. And we're back. Okay, guys. So we'll see you next Friday. Two moms and wine. Two moms and wine. Cheers. Yay. Thank you again. Bye, guys. Bye.